realise I couldn't just move it downwards. Oh my god, look at this chaos. Welcome back to another video of Faceless and Fearless. We're checking out Planet Coaster today, the only game that allows you to weaponize a roller coaster against humanity by turning a local theme park into a bowling alley, where the trains are bowling balls and the visitors are the skittles. And if I had that type of theme park near me, I would be smart enough to keep distance from the theme park. But unfortunately, these people don't have a brain because their brains got crushed by the velocity of the incoming trains. So let's get started. Started. Anyways, in order to get this type of insanity to happen, we need to go on the scenario editor where the highest of the heights will lie. So we're going to create the scenario in an urban area, which is known as a city, which will attract many customers to our theme park and allows people who are flying over in planes to watch all the carts flying background potentially trying to hit it so let's not call it anything to do with coasters let's call it none other than planet bowling so let's see what it comes up with downforce is apparently the most exciting one with a stunning excitement of 8.15 so i feel like everything could be pretty valid on this well the only thing this depends on is how big the roller coaster is and if I have to oh my god okay that was that exceeded my expectations you can press Z to turn it though so that should come in pretty handy oh my god I can barely fit this what if I move this a little over yeah there we go that should be good can I move this any further it won't let me move it okay I feel like this is the furthest I can move it I love how the entrance is like cr getting crushed by the roller coaster, as you can tell down there. And let me give you a little bit of a demonstration of what the test will actually look like. So, I guess let's waste no time. Look at the operator, ready to watch everyone get sent to the heavens, and both physically and mentally. Oh yes, this is like the type of roller coaster I made in the previous one. And then we should be pretty good. There's even these natural paths that we could use as well. But instead of using that, I'm going to use this cool little black path. Alright, there we go. It gives me a lot of OCD that all the different paths are like different colours. But you know, it should be pretty valid for the ride. Can, can I place this please? Oh, there we go. And now the ride is ready let's not waste any more time and go and open it but there is one small problem you may have noticed something people need to enter to get to the park while the actual entrance is all the way down there so we need to connect this a little path to it and for that it's path time but I'm not gonna make this too easy because I'm going to get people to venture through hard, let's just say, events. Alright, let's give this path a little bit of a connection. I'm probably going to need to change some of these features, like the length of the path. I'm going to change that to 5, just to make it a little bit quicker. Because you know how impatient I was building that, that store tower that I made last time. I kind of wish I could build that again. But then I realised that would take way too long. Alright. I need some way to connect this path. Alright. And now I need to somehow translate it upwards. Which, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Firstly, I need to use the world axes. And there we go, we can transfer it upwards. There we go, that should be perfect. Now, there's one problem with this. Since this is not tilting to the side enough... It won't do as much collateral damage. So for that, we're going to need to rotate. Alright. Now I reset the rotation. And I was already on track to rotating it. Oh well, take two. Alright, let's give this a shot. Oh yes. There's even someone walking in right now. We have to make this fast. Oh come on, there's an angle snap. Who cares about the angle? 
snap. I just want an overly accurate roller coaster of fun and potentially mayhem. Alright, I feel like this is a good angle to be working with, so let's move it over this way so that anyone who tries entering this will be doomed for. Oh, yeah. I forgot you need to make it over the path. Oh well, that's fine. Since it's got a slight rotation on it, it will still make it on the path either way. Okay, there we go. Now I can move it here. Okay, this is perfect. There we go. Now that it's got appropriate distance, and you can barely even see it, let's get this started, shall we? Oh my god. This is taking so long. I wonder how many people are actually here. I love how it says there's zero people because they haven't actually entered, but there's all hundreds of people trying to enter. But but when they see this coming, oh, it turns out a lot of people are making it quite far. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. I might want to lock this perspective a little bit. Wait, I want to see. I didn't realise I couldn't just move it downwards. Oh my god. God, look at this chaos. <laughs> well, it's not like I'm not going to add another one. Let's, let's have a second one join the party. Alright, now that we've weaponized the roller coaster against all of humanity, let me spend the next 10,000 years moving this downward so we can move on to the next experiment. The thing I'm going to need to do is place another one right down here. Oh my god, I just realized how far the poles extend. Jesus Christ. Look at the poles, they're just extending over here. This makes no sense. Okay, I'm gonna have to make this quick, otherwise we'll never be able to get this sorted out. Imagine just walking through all these poles. I feel like the worst part is not getting hit by the roller coaster cars. It's about getting bumped with these stupid poles. Okay, I'm gonna have to put it at a very specific angle. Which, of course, is going to be right here. Jesus Christ. Alright. I'm not sure how this is going to work. But I guess we could kind of rotate it off a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to rotate it a bit more. Oh my god, I rotated it too far because of all the lag. Oh my god, there is so much lag. I, I don't think my computer can handle this without upgrading itself. And we've also got my personal favourite pyrotechnics. Oh my god, you can get explosions. That is so cool. We can just get fire on like... Oh my god. Why would you have this in a theme park? Why do they allow this? Alright, you know I'm not even going to question it. Well, let's place it right here. Oh yes. Let's see who's laughing after you enter heaven. Oh my god, this is absolutely crazy. We should use this for dramatic effect. I feel like I placed that one a little too far. Oh my god, I kind of forgot that that's still happening right now. And yet people are still persisting with this and they're dealing with it very well. Oh yes, I'm sure you're happy down there as you're getting absolutely lit up with fire. You know what? I'm. I'm desperate to press the electricity button, so let's see what happens. Oh my god, there's sparks. There's an electric grid message for those of you who are unaware. Mm. And remember, it's gonna be your last one. Wait, does this just disappear as soon as I go away from it? Well, that's just funny. Mm. And speaking of that, I think it's time to bust out one more of those bad boys and see who's laughing now. Right, now that we've got a bunch of notifications that are bugging me to read them, I guess it's time to bust out the blueprints again. And then we're going to see what we could do from... Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ! How... how? I'm kind of curious. How, how far can you actually make this? Oh wait, I just realised... I can actually just slide it like this. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's see what happens if I turn. Will it just... Oh, yeah, it sure does. 
Okay. But there's one small problem. Since it's not elevated above the ground enough, I feel like we should make this a little more interesting. Alright, let's get started with the experiment. Oh my god, I don't know what's going to happen. I should have expected nothing less than for someone who literally added an achievement for this. Like, oh, why does this even exist? It even says on their personal notifications that they've been hit by a coaster car. Well, let's see how this goes. And I'm gonna give people a special prize to congratulate how far they've gotten because we can't just have nothing here, can we? Now, I wonder if I can actually duplicate this. Oh my god, no way. You can duplicate it. That is so funny. Well, you know, this gives me an idea. Alright, we've got a pretty modest amount here. Let's see how many it shoots out. Alright, I guess there's only one way to find out what happens. It's time for those bad boys to launch. I guess I have no other choice but to activate every single one individually. I don't really know how to launch these. So, I guess we've got to leave that up to chance. There's no chance there'll be a button up here, right? I mean, there could be, but sadly, the recording footage duration is blocking it. So I guess we've got no other choice but to leave this there for today. Anyways, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you want to stay notified, and I'll see you next